All right, guys, so today we are going back into another dumbbell circuit. So we're only gonna need a pair of dumbbells to do this circuit, and we're gonna be doing a three minute, 30 second each exercise for boxing conditioning. Let's get after it. All right, guys, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go three to six rounds, right? You're gonna rest one minute, and again, that's gonna be a passive rest. We're gonna make sure that we're breathing diaphragmatically, trying to bring down that stress level, bring ourselves down to a parasympathetic state. The goal really is to get lactic capacity or utilization and delivery. And we're also gonna be working on strength and muscular endurance. Now, we're gonna be using compound movements, right? And we're gonna keep it explosive to a degree. We're gonna make sure we're maintaining power, but doing it in an endurance fashion. So every movement needs to be explosive needs to be with high force but we're increasing the capacity to do so with the fast switch fibers so we're gonna go dumbbell two arm snatch for 30 seconds now this again you can take your time with it it's not a rush but every rep needs to be explosive so 30 seconds there then you're gonna move right on to a dumbbell front squat for 30 seconds where we're gonna have the dumbbells in the front rack position getting our body back down getting into that early to mid gate stance from there you're gonna go right down to the floor dumbbell renegade rows for contralateral stability, all right? And you're also gonna be working into the Russian twist. So we're working rotation and anti-rotation right there. You're gonna hop back up, do dumbbell clean to push press. Again, we're gonna clean the dumbbells up and then press and come back down 30 seconds again. And then we'll finish off with some dumbbell side lunges for that lateral force displacement. As you can see, all these movements will carry over into the sport. This is something that you can do while you're in camp. If you wanna get an extra boost on your conditioning or after a sparring session to finish off your intensity day. All right, I'm gonna go over the exercises. We're gonna run this session. Let's get after it. All right, so we're gonna go over the warm up. All right, right now I'm just gonna go ahead. We're gonna make believe right now that we are in my living room. All right, so. I guess this is the place I live. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a warm up that you could do from just a small area. You're there in your house, you have limited equipment, you're locked down, whatever the case, we know it's crazy times. So all you're gonna need is a set of dumbbells. Usually it's gonna be around, if you're a male, I would say 35 to 40 pounds. For females, you're looking at like 15 to 20 pounds. Again, you wanna keep it as fairly heavy as possible, but you still wanna keep it explosive. So you're looking at about 30% of your max. Um, and that's gonna be in each hand. And we wanna make sure that we're staying explosive. But we're gonna go ahead and go through the warm up. So first thing I'm gonna do is a roll back V sit through. So I'm gonna take my, my legs, drive them back, try to touch, open, and then sit through, all right? Open, sit through. We're gonna go with the mountain climber, right? You're gonna get that knee up to the shoulder. We're gonna rotate T-spine, look up. Then we're gonna switch. Squeeze the glute on the far side, open up. And then switch. Switch. I'm gonna go ahead and do five each side. All right, from there, I'm gonna go ahead, both feet coming up, sit into the squat, then back up. Chest up, do five. We'll go from here, I'm gonna go up, stand up. All right, back down. Touch the toes, squat down, chest up, arms, stand up. Again, five all together. Squat. Come back up. One more. And grab a stick, grab a broomstick. Gonna come here, we're gonna get into a quarter squat position. Arms are up over the head. Then from there, I'm just gonna drive the dowel back behind my head and then open up, all right? 
squeeze the shoulder blades together as you bring it down. You're gonna get 10 reps. Pull the dowel apart as you come down. Right, so now we're gonna get into the workout. So what we're gonna do again is 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds, you're gonna switch to that exercise. After all of the exercises are done, after the three minutes, you take a one minute break, control yourself, control your breathing, and then get back into it. Start off with three rounds, then you can work your way up to six rounds. Let's do it. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with the hang snatch. So what we're gonna do is dumbbell hang snatch, two arm. I'm gonna go ahead, hinge back. As I hinge back, I'm gonna thrust my hips forward and then thrust, get the arms up over my head, drop underneath the dumbbells. Back down, controlled. Down, controlled. All right, keep those dumbbells close to the body. Back down. Back down, all right? Then from there, we're gonna go right into the front squat. So you're gonna pick the dumbbells back up or try to keep them in your hands if you can. Elbows at a 90 degree angle. Get your squat position, coming down, driving up. Right from there, going down to the ground. Spread the legs out, we're going Russian twist. So we're gonna pull to the hip. Switch legs, pull to the hip. Or switch arms, pull to the hip. Switch arms, pull to the hip. Boom. Maintain your balance. Try not to rotate. Okay. From there, get these out the way. Go to your back. And lean back. Feet off the ground if you can. Shoulders are back and we're rotating. Russian twist. Again, 30 seconds. Shoulder blades are back. Try to keep rotating. Not rounding too far forward. Staying upright. All right, so right after that, you're gonna hop back up, grab the dumbbells. We're gonna go clean to push press. So again, hinge, pop them up, and then press them. Boom, back down. Pop them up, press. Back down, pop up, press. Okay, 30 seconds. Now we're gonna finish off with side lunges. I'm gonna take the dumbbells. I'm gonna keep them inside. You're gonna lunge out, hold position, hit back, then drive back up. Switch sides. Hit back, chest up, push back. Push back. Push back. Push back. Three minutes all the way through, taking one minute break and go again. All right guys, so there you have it. Dumbbell circuit for boxers. This can also be done for MMA. It can also be done for judo. Um, but primarily, you look at the movements, multifaceted for combat sport athletes. But again, if you're a boxer looking to use this from a specific time frame, the three minutes on, one minute off is specific to the time frame of a fight. So go ahead, check it out. Make sure you do it correctly. Make sure your form is on point. Make sure you pick the correct weight too as well. Again, I picked 35s. Um, again, make sure that your form stays stays uh, compliant throughout the entire time. If not, drop down the weight and keep it going, all right? That can be your progressing progression going forward. And you wanna make sure that you're progressing each round every week. So again, start with three rounds, work your way to four, five, six, deload, and then repeat it again with some heavier load, all right? So there you have it. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, hit the like button. Let me know if you wanna see more, hear more, do more videos like this. I'll make sure I do it. I'll see you again next time. Peace.